Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you how I draw a mountain. There's many other different methods for drawing a mountain uh, so don't take this as the only way. Uh, this is just the way that I'd go about drawing one. Start off by drawing the outlines. They don't have to be exactly like this. You'll be able to find some awesome reference images online that will help to give you some ideas for the shapes. I'll also mention that in this video I'm using a Pentel P207 0.7mm mechanical pencil with HB high polymer leads, uh, but the kind of pencil you use doesn't really matter. Whether it's a regular pencil or a mechanical pencil, it doesn't matter at all. Um, as long as you're comfortable using it, uh, you'll be fine. As I was drawing the outlines, I also marked off some areas that I'd like to add some shading to. Um, it's important at the beginning to figure out where your light source is, um, so in this case I had the sun beaming from the right side, which meant that the, all the left edges of the mountain would need some shading. Once you've figured out all the outlines for this drawing, you can start to add some basic shading, um, and this will start to give you a really good idea of how the drawing will end up looking. At this stage it will already be starting to look like a mountain um, and depending on the level of detail that you're requiring uh, maybe you'd be able to leave it at this stage uh, but if you want to carry on adding detail that's what I did in this drawing um, so you've got to think about the kind of things that are on a mountain where there's going to be extra ridges, there are going to be rocks um, and depending on the height of the mountain you might have uh, forests and trees um, so start adding the details as you go along Creating the 3D details and the rocks in this drawing requires you to focus on the shading and the highlights. For a sharp rocky formation it's a good idea to have a sharp contrast between your shading and your highlights. And then for curved rock formations you just have a smooth transition between the shading and the highlights. So blending between these two shading methods could really help to create the kind of texture that you're looking for. Making sure to leave the right sides of the mountain completely white is a really effective way of making the mountain look like it's being hit by the sunlight and that really helps to make the drawing as a whole look a lot more 3D. Continue to refine the details as much as you want and if you want to add some clouds or some mist you can do that and it will add a really nice effect to the drawing. And for the highlighted effect of the clouds or the mist you could use an eraser. I really hope this little tutorial video was helpful and this drawing took about two hours to complete. Uh, so if you've worked on anything similar or if you've followed this video along then feel free to show me your work. As always if you enjoy these kind of videos then make sure you're subscribed and any likes, shares, favourites, that kind of support is hugely appreciated and it really means a lot to me. If you want to contact me via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, I have all of my links in the description box below. And you can feel free to contact me there if you have any suggestions or feedback. Um, I'll be sure to get back to you. And once again, thank you so much for the support. It means so much to me. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all soon.